What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of The Build. We are continuing work on honey and we have been putting down insulation. We've started to put down radiant barrier and the yellow is disappearing and honey is beginning to look futuristic with all the shiny metal. It's so true. Honestly, with all the sheen and silver everywhere, it's starting to feel a little bit like a spaceship, you know? Spaceship, you say? Take me to your leader. I wonder. I think I've done it. Eureka! This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. So it was amazing having Abe here this morning and help us out, but we still got daylight. So we're gonna knock a few more projects out, mainly with the holly flax. Um, I call it that because look, hold on. Nashua. If you know the office, then you know. But that tape just to seal the insulation and framing sections, and then more Gorilla tape to finish the sealing portions of the wheel wells. Okay, so we've been putting down uh, some of this reflective tape just on uh, the furring strips. One, just to seal down uh, the insulation, but also to be a radiant barrier type thing on the furring strips. Uh, well, you can't tell it, but we're losing daylight right now. And so, that's where we ended. Uh, so. so, that's where we're gonna leave you guys. Also, a battery died. That's why we just switched angles. <laughs> So we ran out of tape and we're gonna have to go to Home Depot yet again <laughs> um, before we can continue. Um, but it's super cool. Uh, we just kind of took it easy today just taking down the tape, which is nice having a project like that you don't have to do much prep for. Very um, chill, very relaxed. Yeah, and so uh, we're probably just gonna leave it here for today because we actually won tickets to go see Lauren Daigle and Johnny Swim tonight at Greensboro. Yay! We're we, so excited. We won them last night, um, and so it's very spontaneous, but hey, we roll with it. And Johnny Swim is one of our absolute favorite bands. I think this will be our third or fourth time seeing them live, but we've never seen them in a coliseum setting. It's always been very intimate. That's right. They've like walked right in front of us and jammed out right in front of us, so this will be very different to see them in like a But it's because they're touring with Lauren Daigle, and she's big deal these days. That's right. And she's awesome. A little New Orleans vibe. Speaking of, check out our New Orleans travel vlog. Oh, that was good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, catch you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi 
Howdy ho, howdy ho, howdy hey, howdy hey, howdy ho, 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 ho. <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, so today we are back on Honey and we are continuing uh, insulating her on the floor where actually today we are putting down a radiant barrier uh, which we got gifted from Winston on the Road. The nicest people ever! Yeah. So they had some extra radiant barrier and um, weren't going to use it anymore. Like they're past that phase, so thankfully we are the very happy benefactors of that. So thank you guys again so much. So yeah, so today we're gonna continue to put down the radiant barrier and insulate honey to keep her nice and toasty. Uh, behind the clouds, maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? <laughs> So we had a uh, neighborhood friend come visit. <laughs> she was just rubbing up against the door right now. Just wanted to see how the progress was going. Keeping us accountable. And then I asked her if she wanted to work and she ran away, so. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant Barrier looks like a gigantic roll of tin foil, otherwise known as aluminum, or otherwise known as aluminium. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we put uh, the Radiant Barrier down, um, which is really cool. Uh, we just got to finish this back part right here. Basically, uh, the pipes that are back here, we haven't taken out yet. Um, well, we have, but we looped them back around so we could turn the engine on. So now we're going to disconnect those so we can finish that last strip and then all the back part will be good to go and ready for subfloor. Okay, what's up guys? Uh, so the other day I actually came out here while Ashley was out of town for the day and I worked on getting these back pipes unhooked. I didn't actually record it, I didn't think about it and then by the time I got started it got really messy um, and so that was the last thing on my mind. But I'll just kind of show you guys what we've done. Um, as you guys know, we had the passenger heater pipes running back here. And so what we've basically done is I've just unhooked these pipes right here, uh, which then we'll basically we'll loop back around and put in there for now. Uh, but these pipes are basically, they're going to be re-ran under the bus. And so what we had to do is we had to remove them from inside the bus so we could finish insulating. Because basically where the back passenger seat is, that's where they were running through. So now we've done that. We've got a hole in the passenger seat that will cover up and then we can run insulation in there. Um, and so one of the big projects that we'll have to do is run all these hoses under the front of the bus. So then that way we can still use our front pass our front heaters uh, for the windows and stuff. But that was a super messy job. I, I started uh, undoing them. I thought all the liquid would be out since we emptied so much on our previous episode, but I pretty much emptied the whole tank and so this thing was going everywhere. Um, so got a bit messy, but we got it done. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Another out of this world episode for you. Uh, so we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did like it, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't done already, if you go ahead and click that subscribe button, uh, we want you guys to join us in this journey. This journey might even take us to outer space. You just never know. You really know. Uh, so <laughs> click that subscribe button and come along with us. And we'll, we'll be, be back, back next week. week.